Hello everyone, welcome to all of you in this video lecture of soil mechanics. In this particular video, we will solve some numericals based on flow net. So here is a problem. The problem reads, two lines of sheet pile were driven in a riverbed as shown in figure 7.2. So this is figure 7.2 and this particular figure is concerned about this particular problem. Further the problem reads the depth of water over the river bed is 2.5 meter. The trench level within the sheet pile is 2 meter below the river bed. The water level within the sheet pile is kept at trench level by resorting to pumping. If a quantity of water flowing into the trench from outside is 0 0.30 cubic meter per hour per feet length of sheet pile, what is the hydraulic coefficient of permeability of sand. So the problem has been asked to calculate the value of hydraulic coefficient of permeability. It means we need to determine the value of K that is coefficient of permeability. Now if we are going to analyze the second sentence of this particular problem, it has been said the depth of water over the river bed is 2.5 meter. This means if this is a sheet pile, this is another sheet pile and this is the river bed level and suppose this is the water level on river then the distance or height between this level and this level is 2.5 meter because it has been clearly stated over here that the depth of water over the river bed is 2.5 meter. So this particular height is 2.5 meter. See, here it is also showing. Okay. Now the third sentence of this particular problem is saying that trench level within the sheet pile is kept 2 meter below the river bed. Okay. So, if this is the river bed level, this is the river bed level. So, down 2 meter from this bed level somewhere here, if this height is 2 meter, Somewhere here the trench level is lying. Okay. Now the problem also saying the water level within the sheet pile is kept at trench level by resorting to pumping. Okay. So this means that this level, this level is not only the trench level for this particular problem. This level is also the water level within the sheet pile. So, the distance be between this level and this level is 4.5 meter. How? See, this is 2.5 meter and this is 2 meter. See, uh, it is also showing over here that this height is 2.5 meter and this height is 2 meter. So, this total height, this total height is 4.5 meter. 4.5 meter. So the differential head is 4.5 meter. So the value of H is 4.5 meter. Now from this figure it is also can be observed that the number of flow channels are 6. How? Let me clear this figure first. See, this is number 1 flow channel, this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the number of flow channel is 6. It means we denote number of flow channel by NF. We all know we denote the number of flow channel by NF. 
So NF is equal to 6. Now again, if we're going to calculate the number of equipotential drop, from this figure only, we can evaluate, uh, evaluate the values of or the number of equipotential drop. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number of equipotential drop is 10. So we denote number of equipotential drop by ND is equals to 10. So you can see from this figure only we have evaluate three data that is ND that is ND means number of equipotential drop is 10 number of flow channel is 6 and the differential head is 4.5 okay now we know a formula that is quantity of water equals to K into H into NF by n d so what is this q this q is quantity of water flowing from outside and the value of q is what is the value of q the value of q is 0 0.30 see here the quantity from outside is 0 0.30 so the value of Q is 0.3 we know the value of H H is 4.5 meter the number of flow channel is 6 and the number of equipotential drop is 10 so if we put all the value in this particular equation then we will get the value of what the value of k that is coefficient of permeability and the problem has been asked to calculate the value of k so you can see over here that this is the equation and in this equation if we put all the value we will get the value of k see the value of q is 0 0.30 the value of nd is 10 and the value of nf means the number of flow channel is 6 so if we put all this value we will get the value of k that is, we get 3.08 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second. So this is how this problem needs to be uh, solved. Thank you.